Assalamu alaikum, Khalil Mohammed here with more of your Ramadan experiences. Did you know that there are other people besides Muslims fasting at the moment? Some of them are fasting in solidarity with us. And I have found uh, a wonderful lady uh, from New York. She's a Hebrew. Her name is Haifa, and she is fasting too. Her, she, her poster says, Shalom. Haifa here, I hope your fast has been as insightful as mine. I fast to lose the bonds of wickedness, gain insight, wisdom and knowledge from the Most High. The benefits of the fast are, I have gained wisdom, peace and direction for my life. Most importantly, I have gained access to my Creator, Shalom. So thank you very much Haifa. Tahira from Kuwait has written it to say, The Ramadan experience in Kuwait. This is my first time doing Ramadan in Kuwait. I usually run to the to the States to do Ramadan with my community, but it has been better than I expected. I enjoy the peaceful tranquility that being in a Muslim country can offer. Yes, I've fasted in, in a Muslim country, so I can definitely appreciate that. It's especially nice to hear the Tarawi prayers around the country throughout the different masjids. In the Arab world, during Ramadan, stores are open at 8 p.m. and sometimes close at midnight or 2 a.m. It's interesting, but it's messed up my body clock. Okay. <laughs> Sobia Rana from Nottingham in the UK has written to say, Ramadan has been a spiritually uplifting time. An opportunity to share messages of love, peace, happiness with friends, family and social media. To engage people in Ramadan discussions, events, projects and posts. A time to look at how we can become better individuals. It is a time to learn and read, understand the Quran, to develop our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow and put into practice the teachings of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and guide others. Not only just for this month, but for the rest of the year. This month, this year has been a challenge with the hot weather and long days, but it makes you appreciate what we have and also encourages us to support fundraising projects to help people in third world countries and also charities here in the UK. Very true, Sobia. Thank you very much. Looking forward to hearing you guys. Give me your account. Inbox me straight away. Thank you. Asalaamu Alaikum.